Hey guys, what is up? It's Alex here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your uh, memory seat and mirror positions for your new 2021 Subaru Outback. Now in my last video, I made this on the Subaru Forester. So if you have a Forester and you wanna know how to do it, cause it's a little bit of a different uh, control setup, then uh, click on the YouTube card above and it'll take you to that video to show you exactly how to do it. Today we are looking specifically at the Outback Limited trim. Uh, this is also applicable to the Touring trim because they both have the option for the, uh, what they call Subaru's driver focus, or you may hear it referred to as driver mitigation. But uh, we're gonna go check this out. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up. So each time you get in your car, you uh, don't have to reset your seat and mirror position, especially if you have more than one person in your family uh, driving your car. Uh, in addition to that, this uh, same feature will detect distracted driving. So if you're falling asleep at the wheel or things like that, the car will alert you and uh, help you stay awake and help you stay focused while you're driving. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, I like to make videos uh, talking about Subarus, all the tech and the features, uh, mainly for people who already own their Subarus, uh, somebody who's looking to buy one to, to find out what all is offered on them and just making sure you know how to operate them. So uh, these are videos that I send to my customers, but obviously I like to help other people out too here on the internet. So if you enjoy things like that, if you wanna learn more about Subarus, then uh, click the subscribe button down below and uh, comment down below if you have any questions. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go hop in the driver's seat here. I'll show you guys exactly how to set this up. So we're going to be using to uh, control the seats. I mean, this is pretty much standard on most of your cars that have power seats. This button right here can go down. It's actually already down or it can go up and it can raise the uh, base of the seat. Uh, it can also go forward and back. And then this right here adjusts the seat back. So this part right here, it can go back and it can go forward and this right here it's it's going to be hard to show you on camera but this changes the uh like the lumbar support so the um the stiffness of this area right here you can use this right here to adjust that so i'm going to go ahead and get in the car and adjust my seats so you want to first start with adjusting your seat in a, a comfortable position so i'm going to go ahead and do that we can start the car up. And I'm going to turn the fan down. It's almost 80 degrees today here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm super excited for the, uh, the warm weather, uh, but we're gonna try to get through this video without the AC blowing so you can actually hear what I'm saying. So once you get your seat adjusted, then go ahead and adjust your mirrors. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you in case you've never used power mirrors before. You've got the left mirror here and you toggle this up and down, left and right, get it in a position you like. Do the same thing for the right mirror. You also want to put the car in reverse. Be sure to keep your foot on the brake and adjust the mirrors uh, for that as well. Because whenever you uh, put the car in reverse, the mirrors will tilt. So we're gonna put the car back in park. And uh, the way we set up the driver focus, it's super easy. So it uses this infrared bar up here, uh, uses spatial recognition to be able to um, to, to recognize who's in the driver's seat. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over here on the screen and we are going to click settings. And from there, you're going to want to toggle over to where it says car. And under uh, this screen, you just wanna click on driver monitoring system. So click on that. And then uh, you want to, so we don't have a user registered. This is a brand new car. Um, you just click on register user. You can set up to five users. So now it's telling you to uh, get your seat and mirrors in the uh, desired 
uh, position. Um, I've already gone ahead and done that. That's what I would suggest you do. Do that before you get to this screen and then click set. We're going to face forward so that can see us. And you probably didn't hear it beep because I was talking, but uh, it'll beep whenever, whenever it registers you. So as soon as you face forward, it does it pretty quick. Um, then you can put in your name here. We might as well just go ahead and put my name in. You can also set your icon. So um, you, can, you can do that, um, you know, whatever you want. You can change it and set. And I accidentally clicked the climate control and the heated seat button there. But once it's set, it'll show it there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the seat back and push it down. And I'm going to open the door. So now it thinks a new person is in the driver's seat. This is recognizing my face. It tells me on the dash, hello, Alex. Also, if you're curious, if you have more than one driver in your household uh, for the same vehicle, you can see who is, um, whose uh, seating positions are uh, recognized up here next to the facial recognition icon and the name up there. So now it's all set and I've got that convenience feature set up where I can now get in my car. I don't have to do anything and it's automatically going to adjust my personalized settings for my mirrors and my seat position uh, to where I last set it. And also this is going to detect distractive driving. So if I'm looking over there or maybe I'm dozing off at the wheel, then it will alert me up on the dash to uh, focus on my driving. You can also set your, you can set up to two driving uh, positions or, or seat and mirror positions with uh, these buttons over here. It's really simple. So once you get in the position that you wanna be in, you click the set button and whichever one or two, whichever seat position you wanna save at the same time. Now, whenever you get in the car, you can just click one and it'll move to the position that you set previously. Same for uh, seat position number two. Now, this is kind of redundant whenever you have the uh, facial recognition turned on. So this is honestly the most convenient and easiest thing to do. And you can save up to five profiles. Uh, this, you do have to click the button when you get in the car, but that is another option for you as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you found some value in it. If you did, please smash the like button, leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts or questions you have. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys in the next one.